Still, he must be a bit gutted after that one. Yeah, I thought we'd done enough. As I say, you know, when the, the, the board went up with five or four minutes to be added on, um, I thought we'd seen it out and we, we got to the five minutes and then there were still two more minutes added on after that. And, you know, we're really struggling to find out where. But even still, you know, you've got to make sure that uh, you see the game out. It was a free cross into the box. Once it goes in the box, when you've got a, a six foot four centre forward in there, well, that's what they're looking for in the end. And uh, he gets on the end of it and, you know, puts it in. So disappointed, but. Overall, I'm absolutely delighted with the boys. You know, they, they put a shift in. We are down to our bare bones. I'm asking players to play for injury, and they're willing to put themselves out there for me. And a lot of them playing in different positions as well that they're not used to. Yeah, no, you know, Romani, for for instance, played left back the other day. He's played right back today. Then he's gone centre back, and you know, they're, they're just ready to give everything they've got. And I thought we deserved maximum points today. You know, I really do. I thought we'd done enough. We've seen it out, and uh, so we are disappointed, but we haven't lost. An interesting first half, to say the least, and probably shaded that. Aside from the sending off. Had the better chances. Yeah, I think so. I thought we started off really well. I was, I was comfortable with our with us. Um, we, we were a lot better than we were on Tuesday night, and we had to be playing a, a, a Yeovil side. So um, I was really pleased with them. Obviously, and then Bushy gets sent off, which I'm disappointed with because I think that, you know the referee's always going to look to even it up once he's made that decision. And um, you know we've looked on the camera. There, there, there isn't much contact if there's contact at all. He's, he's absolutely devastated. But the boys showed some grit, determination. Uh, we went for it, we only played three at the back, we didn't go with a four, we wanted to get a win. And, um, you know, and I, I think we're a bit disappointed that we haven't got that. Missing Joe Kizzy today, which just adds to a long list of injured and missing players. Any updates on anyone at all? Do you expect to welcome any back soon? I certainly hope we'll have a, a couple back for uh, Saturday, uh, Chesterfield away. Um, they're going to have a couple of days, refresh, reboot. Um, just a, just go back on what we've, you know, where we are in the division, and, and you know, and, and what we what we're achieving at the moment. It's been fantastic, and uh, you know, we're on the countdown now. There's less games to play than we've played already, so you know, we know we're going to have to put a massive, massive shift in to stay in and around this uh, top end of the table with the boys with their, you know, what they've got. They've got the bigger squads, they've got the more money as well. So very competitive, but uh, loving every minute. And like you say, uh, a week now to hopefully get some bodies back, and that uh, takes us to the visit to Chesterfield. Yeah, we're going to need bodies back. Obviously, we lose. Um, uh, bushy because of the sending off as well so you know you, you, without an injury you don't need to add to it but he has and um, you know so we're going to need everybody back fighting fit and obviously dying to get into this team thank you thank you